Hey guys, hope you're doing good. Um, I'm actually sitting in my car in a parking lot. It's probably obvious. <laughs> and I just wanted to um, make a quick video of like a spiritual update and just kind of what God's been doing inside of me. Um, right now I'm on like a mommy's day out. Um, got a babysitter at the house with the kids so that I could just take a little break. And um, I just want to share what God has been doing in me. And this has been, I think, the last month, about a month or so. Um, about a month ago, I started uh, waking up early. Like, I have a six-month-old baby, and she still wakes up in the night sometimes. And about a month ago, she woke up to eat, and literally, it was like four in the morning. And I just remember feeling like God told me like don't go back to sleep like stay awake like come and seek me come and find me and I had this energy this like rush of en like energy that came over me and I just got out of bed and I went to the gym because I was like I don't really know where else to go you know it's four in the morning and if I stay at home and pray I'm probably going to be too loud for my kids and they're going to wake up so went to the gym, worked out, and then um, had a time of prayer just in my car before my son usually wakes up around 6 a.m. So I knew I had to be home by then. And as I was praying and seeking the Lord, I just, I'm going to try not to cry, but I just felt God tell me like, come away, come away with me and come into the secret place and and that it's time to prepare for what is to come. And I didn't really know what that meant and as you know the weeks progressed I, I i had a conviction to wake up early several times in the week not just you know that one time it became it's become like a weekly thing actually multiple times a week i'm waking up around the same time and just um seeking the lord so that means i have to plan go to bed earlier because you know sometimes i still wake up in the night with my daughter um but as he's been waking me up in the night uh, i mean at four in the morning and i'm rising to seek him like I cannot tell you guys how much this has impacted my spiritual life and really just allowed me to go into places of repentance that I didn't know I needed to go into. Like I didn't, sometimes we don't know that we need to repent of things or that we need to take certain things out of our lives or reorient our focus. But when we spend time in God's presence, he realigns us to the rightful order and the rightful priorities that we're supposed to have in him. So yeah, so, you know, spending that time in God's presence, you know, God began to speak to me about becoming set apart from the world. And I'm thinking like, I mean, I knew what he meant because even though we're Christians, you know, does it mean that there aren't more areas that we can get more consecrated in, you know? And um, what he was dealing with me specifically on was social media and the how much of the culture I'm intaking, you know, and this is something that could help all of us in this time, I believe, as Christians, because I believe God wants his people right now to he wants our undivided attention because he wants to speak to us because he wants to give us instruction because he wants to give us wisdom and because he wants to be more in tune with what heaven is saying and what heaven is doing and what he is saying and what he is doing than what's going on in the world around us and because of media the increase of media in all platforms and all ways and all forms you know, we have, we're inundated with so much information that we hear so many voices and we hear so many messages, but none of them change our lives. They just fill us with stress, frustration, comparison, jealousy, anxiety, you know, and it's not, we're hearing a bunch of words, but it's not the living words, you know, and God wants to take us to a place of consecration in the secret place where we have a secret place life with the Lord. We have a prayer life when no one's around we have a a life in the word of god when no one's around right not just at church not just online not just publicly but we want to we want to get back to that secret place as believers and build up the fortitude in the spirit to deal with the culture that's around us i heard a prophet saying um i believe it was corey russell but he was saying like we can't impact culture while while being just like culture and we can't impact culture if we're not 
before the throne of God. And that hit me so hard. Like, God, I want to be before your throne. Like, I know what it is to be before the throne of God, but sometimes it's so easy for me and for all of us to get distracted with everything going on in the world because we have so many channels to tell us what's going on in the world. But how many channels do we have to tell us what's going on in the kingdom of God and in heaven and what's to come? What What is God doing? What is he about to do? We have one channel for that and that's prayer. You know, that's, you know, worship. It's, it's spending time in the secret place. And that's what God has really been dealing with me on is developing and rebuilding my secret place with him and turning away from worthless things. Like the scripture says, turn your eyes from worthless things. And it may not even be bad stuff that we're looking at. It's just, but how much of our time is it taking? Are we distracted? Are our thoughts set on the Lord or are our thoughts set on what's going on in the world, the latest funny thing, the trends, you know? There's so much culture that is being filtered to us through media platforms and channels that we gotta be careful to discern what is influencing us. Is the Lord influencing us or is culture influencing us? And how can I be set apart from the culture, set apart from the world and be like the Lord, be holy like he is holy. And the only way to be holy like he is holy is to spend time with his holiness, is to spend time with the king himself. So I hope this blesses you guys. I just wanted to share what he's been doing in me and what I believe he's calling us as believers to do is to return to the secret place. God bless you guys and have a great day.